Ivy loves having fun with loud music and crazy dancing. Maybe too much fun. And her dad doesn't approve. His head might explode. No more music. Plus, Ivy needs to focus on her studies. She can't stand being treated like this. She wants to find a home where she won't be judged or forced to study. But the world isn't kind to people like her. She'll have to come home. Ivy is furious. Is everything stacked against her? Hold on. What if she makes her own home? She'll be in charge. She can make the rules. That's perfect. It's so roomy. Hmm. What's this envelope? Where'd it come from? If the bed belongs to Ivy, then so does everything underneath it. Wow! So much money! Now Ivy can buy whatever she wants to build her secret house. So that's what she does. Let's get building. Ivy is so dedicated to her work. She's never been this motivated before. Her dad wouldn't even recognize her. Ivy built a whole structure and covered it in paneling. She's doing a great job. Unfortunately, no one else gets to see it. It's a secret after all. Nice. What else should go in here? Ooh, a rug! A few snips and snaps and… Oops! Dad! Ivy can't let him find out what she's doing. He seems to have forgotten about their fight, but now he's suspicious. Dad always knows when she's up to something. Okay, time to watch TV. The rug turned out amazing. Ivy wrote down what she did in her diary, but she noticed that something was missing. Ooh, a shelf for her diary. Ivy's neighbor has no idea what she's doing, even though she drilled into his room and replaced his hanger with a better one. We could all use a little change. Oh, yeah. Ivy's shelf turned out even better than she expected. Ivy's room has unusual lighting. Neon and string lights make her feel like every day is a party. But the plugs couldn't handle all these lights. Phew! It's just Huggy Wuggy. Quit messing around, Huggy. They're all so funny and soft. Ivy's grumpy dad listens to loud music sometimes, too. Dance like nobody's watching. And everything's better with wings. Now dad's music is bugging Ivy, not the other way around. And he can't stop. He just dropped a perfect crunchy wing. Ivy can use it as a pillow or a curler. <sighs> Good night. Ivy got hungry after her nap. She has an idea for a sneaky way she can get food into her room. She invented a delivery system straight from the fridge. She always gets so creative when she's feeling lazy. Three sausage cars are driving to feed her. And they brought a passenger. Ivy's dad follows the call of his stomach in his sleep. Oops, he woke up and he has no idea how he got here. But Ivy got her dinner, so she's feeling pretty good. Wow! These cool posters really fit the vibe in here. Meanwhile, Dad found where Ivy got them. Ivy's dad got home from work, and now he can watch TV on the couch. His socks need help. They won't survive another trip. They even woke Ivy up. This sock can be a blanket. And the hole is perfect for Ivy's foot, so she won't overheat. Ivy has lots to do. Her room needs a window. She uses a hammer and chisel to make one. And now she can see the city. 
Ivy's getting cold. It's snowed right onto her head. She'll have to close the window again. The room is more like a freezer. A beautiful painting will cover up her mistake, like it was never there in the first place. Uh -huh. Ivy's bored again, but she can change that. What's this mirror for? Whoa, she's watching TV. That didn't go according to plan. It's ruined. Welcome to the Dad's dream came true. He got invited to participate in the Troom Troom Show. He's fighting the host off pretty well. Meanwhile, Ivy makes it to the TV set and steals the host's curtain. Plot twist! And we're live! Now the host doesn't have any pants. Oh, that's why Ivy needs the curtain. This is an investigation into illegal real estate. No comment. Ivy's dad is reading about the scandal on the late day show. Where's that music coming from? Is there a party in the house? Whoa! Termites in Ivy's bed? That horrible noise. It must be here somewhere. The termites invited people? How many? Dad can't count them all. Can you help? How many people did you count? Tell us in the comments. Protein shakers are delicious and nutritious. Ivy's worried that her flower isn't growing. What does it need? Maybe some protein? Bad idea. But let's see if it works. Ivy doesn't like being tickled. The vines cover Ivy and her whole room very quickly. She's getting swallowed up. Her dad comes running when he hears her yelling. Help is on the way! He dealt with this back in Cambodia. She's free and safe now. As soon as Ivy relaxes, a knocking noise disturbs her. Her neighbor is playing ping pong. He doesn't have any friends. It feels like Ivy's house is going to fall down. What's going on? Oops, now it makes sense. Dad's cooking is always a little too creative. An acquired taste. The apartment is filling up with stinky smoke. It even made it to Ivy's secret room. You like jazz? Someone disturbed Ivy's dad while he was in the zone. It's his utility bill. How much? All these zeros make Dad's eyes turn into zeros, too. He's freaking out! Where's that envelope of money he stashed under Ivy's bed? Oh, Ivy is hiding in the corner. Here's the envelope. But it's empty. Now she and her dad will have to share this tiny secret room. The college Caroline remembers is gone now. Everything is so unfamiliar. Except Jackson. Even the teachers have changed. The new teacher is so huge that he makes an earthquake whenever he walks. A jock professor. Can you believe it? Caroline really feels like she ended up in a parallel universe. This guy is huge! And he's so strong that he breaks everything he touches. This big guy could give Jackson a run for his money. But Jackson isn't giving up anytime soon. He thinks there's no one stronger than him. But he's wrong. The new teacher thinks Jackson is as strong as a little kid. He's impressed by the throw, though. He even shook his hand. Now Jackson's feeling the new teacher's full power. And now he realizes that he really isn't the strongest guy here anymore. Jackson is the third strongest. The second strongest is Mr. Kevin's finger. 
Mr. Kevin is nothing like the other teachers. Just look at his tests. Don't worry, you don't have to write anything. In Mr. Kevin's world, there are only two grades, pass or fail. He picks the test ahead of time, but you get your grade by fighting for it. It's not exactly fair and square, though, because Mr. Kevin is still the strongest guy on campus. Caroline doesn't stand a chance. Jackson failed already. We need a different strategy. Brains, not brawn. Or it's over for us. Jackson and Mr. Kevin are becoming real rivals. They're flexing, but they're also flexing. Jackson is showing off his expensive cologne. Just look at that bottle. All Caroline can do is sniff how expensive these colognes are. They're pricey and crazy pricey. Finding out who's cool is serious business, and everything is important, even your locker defense system. Until recently, Jackson had the best defense, but all the other students' lockers were in bad shape. Caroline's locker doesn't even close, unless you force it. So Jackson has to help her. Usually, lockers fall over after he helps. But now that Mr. Kevin is here, we don't have to worry about that. Speaking of lockers, Jackson's used to be the best. But Mr. Kevin is here to change that. He can't wait to show off for Jackson. And he really has a lot to show. There's a whole palace inside his locker. Yep. Look at it! A coat room, video games, a huge TV… That's crazy! How did he fit all that in there? Wait! There's more! This isn't the only locker! He has a spare! When you go through it, you can see why Caroline is in such bad shape. If big guys like Jackson and Kevin keep going through your locker, no wonder it doesn't open. Poor Caroline! Ever since she lost her popularity, her life has been way harder. It's bad enough that this college is full of jocks who eat protein bars. They're all so rich. Playing with food is normal for them. And all Caroline can do is put up with it. Nobody notices her. Unless her size will come in handy. When someone needs to get something from a place the jocks won't fit, they will get what they need, then forget about Caroline. It's hard to be invisible. No wonder Caroline's mad. There's something weird about these glasses. Just take them off and the world changes. No, not because of Caroline's bad eyesight. The world literally changes. Every student is terrified of getting a bad photo put up. Just thinking about it is painful. Jackson and Kevin need to make sure the photos turn out great. And it's interesting. But Caroline doesn't look so good with them. She's so upset! She really wanted to look good. Now she's crying. So the guys decided to take another picture where she'll look better. Maybe it won't make her popular again, but at least in the picture, it looks like she is. Now she can look back on her college years and smile. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Back to the present. Jackson is trying on Caroline's glasses. There's something off about them for sure. Caroline looks like a jock! Jackson is terrified. Kevin is bad enough. He doesn't want more competition. So what's up with these glasses? Are they magic? We don't know. So let's just watch and see. Caroline's glasses are changing her life and Jackson and Kevin are changing their own. When they see a picture of a celebrity with an embedded gemstone, they decide that they want to show how rich they are too. So Jackson got a diamond in his forehead, and Kevin took it even farther and decorated the whole forehead with gems. It's weird, but effective. 
Caroline wants something to decorate her forehead, too. But the only thing she can afford is a zit. Ever since Kevin took over as a teacher, the curriculum has changed a lot. Now all we study is sports, and it seems like that's all the students care about. But then, Caroline lost her glasses, and all the jocks turned into nerds. If this really is a different universe, Caroline does not want to stay here. She'd rather be surrounded by jocks than these freaks and geeks. But just because we work out doesn't mean we don't have finals. Jackson would have failed if Caroline hadn't noticed he was struggling. She sends him the right answers through the air. But Jackson thought his neighbor declared war on him. You can't let that slide. Luckily, Mr. Kevin is here with his new and improved blowgun. After that fight, Caroline's glasses are in bad shape. Jackson wants to make up for it, so he fixes them with his gold tape. It didn't exactly help, but it's a little better, even though she looks super stupid. Then Mr. Kevin comes to the rescue. He's got a case full of options, but all of them change reality too. So she sticks with her old ones. So she sticks with her old ones. A world full of punk jocks? No thank you. <laughs> Caroline is getting used to it here. The world is weird, but at least she's surrounded by strong guys who are happy to help her. And they can easily open tough jars. Um, or maybe not. Jocks aren't used to thinking with their brains. Good thing Caroline is here. But she's the poorest student in school. She can barely afford lunch. She has to cut a lot of corners if she wants to stick to her budget. Meanwhile, Rich Jackson and millionaire Kevin are having an all-you-can-eat feast. Jackson is eating dozens of burgers, but none of them compares to the emperor of burgers. Kevin thinks that whoever has the most calories wins. His burger has more calories than all the food Caroline eats in six months. No wonder Kevin is this huge. What did you think of our new video? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time on Troom Troom Tricks.